physical security is very important from information security point of view that's why iso 27001 does not only talks about implementation of technical controls but also physical controls as well physical protection controls because physical security plays a critical role in information protection guys because even if you have the best firewalls if you have the best uh, you know uh, best approach to have uh, best mechanisms you have best people but if physical security if there is a lapse then there will be a huge problem okay so you have to make sure that physically you protect the environment you protect the area of the organization of the business where you are running the critical information guys that's what uh, talks about a.11.1 talks about it is basically about making sure that we have you know physical protection okay because without it it is really a complicated situation okay so what could be done in order to you know make sure that uh, you know there is proper physical protection okay so you can have entrances being monitored as shown in the picture you can have uh, you know some security staff over there and uh, you know this will actually help in order to the surveillance will actually help in order to mitigate any threat and uh, will be acting as a deterrent control as well in case somebody tries to come to the premises for any malicious purposes okay and uh, i think now with this background let us understand about the requirement of a.11.1 what exactly does it talks about okay so a.11.1 as you can see talks about physical security perimeter physical entry controls securing offices rooms and facilities protection against external and environmental threats working in secure areas delivery and loading areas okay so if you do not have this delivery and loading areas in your environment you can simply skip it you can mention that in the statement of applicability guys so the first one that we have is 11.1.1 which talks about physical security perimeter it is very self understood do you have a defined designated security perimeter for your premises or not is it defined and designated are there any sensitive or critical information areas and if you have are they appropriately controlled or not after that there is physical entry controls do you have suitable entry control system in order to make sure that only authorized persons have access for example if somebody wants to uh, you know come into the premises what kind of you know access control system do you have like do they have to input a username and password for the gates to open or do you have retina or iris scan system you do you have a facial recognition system what kind of system is there in place for physical entry controls okay after that securing offices rooms and facilities have the rooms offices and facilities been designed and configured with security in mind so you have to make sure that everything that is designed in the office as far as the physical infrastructure is concerned has to be in compliance and in alignment with the security do you have clear desk policy do you have systems automatically being logged up when the user leaves them are such kind of policies exist do you have these controls after that protection against external and environmental threats i think this i have already covered physical protection so that malicious attacks or accidents can be avoided after that working in secure areas do you have particular secure areas 
and where do you have them they can be anything uh, depending upon your organization guys it can be your warehouse which is a very secure for you it can be your you know production facility where you are running your operations that that is highly secure for you so it depends upon organization to organization what are your secure areas and what are the kind of policies and procedures do you have okay for example data center is a secure area highly secure area i would say so you would not allow anybody to go into the data center just like that okay so what kind of controls have you put in for those security areas after that delivery and loading areas are they separate from the main business premises or are they a part of the same location in which your business is there okay this is very important is access to these areas controlled or anybody can go into the delivery and loading areas okay after that is access from loading areas isolated from information processing facilities this is very important guys the last one because it talks about access from loading areas to be isolated from information processing facilities it means that information process processing facilities means your data center guys it means that your loading areas should be separated from the data center it should not be very close to the data center because there might be third party involvement there might be third party personnel coming you know here and there so that's why that's the reason guys i hope you have got understanding about a.11.1 in this video if you have any questions guys if you have any doubts and if you want to add anything to this feel free to add in the comment section guys thank you so much for watching take care